One thing I absolutely dislike about the GoPro Media Mode is the sound quality of the built-in microphones. So in today's video I'll show you how to easily improve its sound quality as much as possible. Let's start with the settings. So the only real thing we can do with the Media Mode settings is select which microphone to use. The Media Mode features two microphones, one in the front and one in the back. Testing the back microphone on the GoPro Media Mode and the GoPro Hero 11. Test, test. Test, 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 test. Now I'm testing the front microphone on the GoPro Media Mode and the GoPro Hero 11. Test, 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 test. Personally, I use the front microphone for vlogging and the back microphone for action sports such as cycling. One odd thing do about the Media Mode is that when it's connected, you can see the audio levels on the screen. But as far as I know, you cannot really adjust them even if you connect an external microphone to the GoPro, which is really weird because what's the point of having audio levels if you cannot really control them on the GoPro itself? Anyhow, let's move on to post-production where the real magic happens. But first, take a listen to these raw audio samples from the media mode and built-in GoPro microphones. Testing the GoPro media mode front microphone. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. One, two, three, test. Testing the GoPro media mode back microphone. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Testing the GoPro media mode back microphone. Test, test, test. Test, 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 test. Testing the built-in microphones on the GoPro Hero 11. Test, 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 test. Now we'll work on improving the sound quality of these clips. The first thing I'm going to do is add some equalization. I'm using Final Cut Pro and the built-in channel EQ effect. It doesn't really matter what equalizer you use, as long as it works, it should be fine. I'm going to use the channel EQ to remove the bad sounds and emphasize the good ones. So first let's remove the annoying low hum noise from the audio by adding a point around 80-90 Hz with a Q factor of 0.7 and removing all sounds below that. This will essentially remove all of the annoying low frequencies in the audio such as an air conditioner or a car engine. Next, I'm going to improve the clarity of my voice by slightly increasing the gain between 7500 and 8000 Hz with a Q factor of 1 plus 3, 4 dB should be more than enough. This will improve the general clarity of my voice, however, I recommend not going overboard because it can introduce unpleasant frequencies in the audio. Then at around 120-130 Hz, I'll add a point with a Q factor of 0.5 and increase the gain by about 3-4 decibels. This will add a bit of bass to the low frequencies of my voice. Finally, I'm going to add a point at around 1500 Hz with a wide Q factor of 0.3 and reduce the gain by about 4-5 decibels. This will reduce some of the annoying high frequencies in my voice and give it more bass and presence. Let's listen to how it sounds before and after after applying an EQ. Testing the GoPro media mode, front microphone. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. One, two, three, test. Testing the GoPro media mode, front microphone. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. One, two, three, test. Testing the GoPro media mode, back microphone. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Testing the GoPro media mode, back microphone. Test, test, test. Test, 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 test. As you can hear, equalizing your audio makes a significant difference and you only need to do it once, then create a preset and use it whenever necessary. Now, because of the differences in your voice from mine, you should not use the exact same frequencies that I did. However, these figures are a good starting point. So experiment with the frequencies and see what works the best. The goal is to emphasize the good sounds while removing the bad ones. Now it's time to normalize the audio. To do that, I'm going to use the built-in Final Cut Pro limiter effect. This effect will compress the audio throughout the clip to make it sound more even. So instead of having a low volume section followed by a high volume section, this effect will make everything sound more even. Furthermore, it will limit the gain to a specific number so that the audio does not clip and distort. Personally, I limit the audio to roughly minus 1.5 decibels. So with the limiter effect opened, let's switch to legacy mode and enable the soft knee. This
this effectively makes the compression effect a bit more gradual. Then I will increase the look ahead to 5 milliseconds and the release to 250 milliseconds to smooth out the compression effect transition. This step is definitely not necessary, however it will make the compression effect a bit more smooth. Now let's take a look at the two most important dials, the gain and output level. The output level effectively limits the audio to a specific level. As previously stated, I usually limit my audio to minus 1.5 decibels because I want to be as safe as possible and avoid clipping above 0 decibels. Then using the gain dial, you basically increase the audio gain. I usually raise it until I see a bit of yellow on the input scale and then lower it by about 2, 2.5 decibels. For example, as you can see, if I set the gain on this clip to plus 9 decibels, there's a bit of yellow on the input scale, indicating that I need to lower it to around 7 decibels for good audio gain. This is by no means scientific and I'm not an audio engineer, however, it has worked for me flawlessly thus far. Now let's compare it to how it sounds before and after applying the EQ and limiter effects. Testing the GoPro media mode, front microphone. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. One, two, three, test. Testing the GoPro media mode, front microphone. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. One, two, three, test. Testing the GoPro media mode, back microphone. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Testing the GoPro media mode, back microphone. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Testing the GoPro media mode, front microphone. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Testing the GoPro media mode, front microphone. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Testing the GoPro media mode, back microphone. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Hey, I know you. How's it going? What's up? <laughs> Testing the GoPro media mode, back microphone. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Hey, I know you. How's it going? <laughs> What's up? Testing the front microphone on the GoPro media mode with the GoPro Hero 11. Testing the front microphone on the GoPro media mode with the GoPro Hero 11. Testing the GoPro media mode back microphone with the GoPro Hero 11. Testing the GoPro media mode back microphone with the GoPro Hero 11. And now I am using the built-in microphones on the GoPro Hero 11. Test, test. And now I am using the built-in microphones on the GoPro Hero 11. Test, test. Testing the built-in microphones on the GoPro Hero 11. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Testing the built-in microphones on the GoPro Hero 11. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. As you can see, or should I say, as you can hear, adding some equalization and compression to the audio from the GoPro Media Mode microphone makes a big difference. It's far from perfect, but it will suffice until GoPro releases a new model with a better microphone. Thanks for watching, and I'm curious to know how you edit your audio, so please let me know down below in the comment section. Bye.